Hey out there, this is Tuesday, March 26th, 2019, and it's just a little bit after 7 p.m. here in Northern California, and I'm going to be brief tonight. I just wanted to um, dedicate a poem I wrote for the girl of my dreams, and it turns out that's not just uh, a saying, but uh, this is literally the girl of my dreams, and... Um, I am absolutely smitten by this kitten, and um, I'm not ashamed of it. And the whole world is is welcome to um, to hear this poem I wrote just for her. Um, you know, I'm not the type to play it coy when it comes to something this important, and she is that important. I feel like my life would be fulfilled if I could have her in it, in any measure at all. And I do feel like I could give her something that she's missing and uh, increase her happiness. But I don't want her to change at all because she's absolutely perfect. At least for me, she's absolutely perfect. I cannot see any flaws in her. She's exactly what I want. And even some of the ways that I find her so attractive, she may be oblivious to. And that makes her even more attractive. And um, I won't go into details about that, but there's just something about her that is just absolutely irresistible to me. And uh, there's got to be a lot of guys vying for her hand. She's just so fine and uh, in all ways. And I know that she's a godly woman. There's just no way I could be this attracted to anyone uh, unless she was a godly woman. No way. So I, uh, I know that's, that's a very important criteria. That uh, I know that the right girl has to be a godly woman, the right girl for me, and that she is. So, sweetheart, I hope to God you can give me a chance because you know how to get a hold of me, um, and I know. I know there's a lot of guys, eligible men, that uh, would love to have you. Absolutely. There's just absolutely got to be just tons of guys that would love to have you, baby. And I just want you to know I, I'm one of them. And um, I'm absolutely 100% convinced that um, you're exactly what the doctor ordered and uh, what I really want, what I really need is someone just like you and I would just love to spend some time with you and love to have your hand love to go steady put a ring on your little finger the whole bit and um, any way you want it though you know we uh, can keep this thing as low profile as you want and I'm 100% down with that whatever you whatever you say is what I want I just want to make you happy, happier than you are, because you're obviously very happy. You couldn't be this cute and not be happy. So I don't want to cramp your style at all. I want you to continue being free as a bird, but just uh, add me to your life to the degree that you want, and that's all I want. Nothing more, nothing more, no demands. No changes. You're perfect, just as you are. But please forgive my forwardness, and I just, I just can't play coy. I just can't play it cool. I might be prideful in some ways. I don't see that as a good thing. But when it comes to your hand, I am not going to play it coy and cool. No way, man. No way. And I'm not going to be prideful. I've got nothing to be embarrassed about. I, I love you, and I am absolutely certain I could be happy with you for the rest of my days. And, and you're what I want more than anything else in this world. There's no amount of money. There's no amount of wealth. There's nothing, nothing in this world that I'd trade for even the chance to have your hand.
So I titled this poem, She Makes Me Smile. And it's so apropos because uh, it's not easy to make a guy like me smile, a guy that's so cognizant of the ubiquitous problems in this world, the, the horrors, the, the evil, the vileness that is just everywhere. And uh, it's tough being human. And um, I'm a human that's paying attention. And when you do, you realize that uh, this world is not something that can be maintained indefinitely. It's, it's destined for the junk heap of history. We need God's will to be established on earth. And until that time, I'm going to be waiting with bated breath. But in the meantime, I'm going to look for those few things that make me smile. I'm going to stop and smell the roses. And girl, you are the maximum roses. She makes me smile. I smile to myself whenever I think of the girl of my dreams. The thought of securely holding her in my loving arms is beautiful beyond description. Seeing a woman like her, so sweet, so smart, so cute, so strong, so feminine, so delicate, so demure, She is like a garden oasis in the middle of a desert. A glorious sight to behold. She is a powerful complement to the female of our species. To me, she is perfect. And now I praise God far more than I did before. In a world mired in madness, she makes me smile. I love you, sweetheart. God bless you, Lauren. And um, hey, listen, you give me a chance, we can meet up somewhere, sometime, on any basis you want, chaperone, whatever. I just want to, um, I want to see if it's possible, you know, that we can make this thing work because uh, I'm 100% convinced that I could be very, very, very happy for the rest of my life with you. And remember, I'm not going to be demanding a lot of your time. I know you're a busy woman. Just a little bit of time. Just what you can spare. Just what you want to give me. That's what I want. I'll be able to put everything aside for you. If I gotta keep going out and making a few bucks, so you understand how that is. But uh, God, you're precious. And I just love to say I love you. And uh, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. I could be ashamed if I didn't let you know how I feel about you because I've gotta live with myself. I've gotta look myself in the mirror. And um, I just have to let you know these things.